Wisdom. Prudentia. Justice. Justicia. Temperance. Temperantia. Courage. Fortitudo. Applying ancient philosophy to modern life, this is the Sunday Stoic. Hey listeners, this is Steve coming to you from the Sunday Stoic Studios. In this case, I am literally lying in bed. Why? Because <clears throat> starting on my 40th birthday, which I talked about on the last episode, uh, I didn't feel very well. And then my son came home sick with a fever that day. And then my wife came down with a fever. <laughs> and we have been sick all week with what I assume is the flu. Uh, we all had our flu shots and everything like we're supposed to, but it found us and hit us hard nonetheless, and uh, it has been a rough week. I went into work a couple times this week, hoping it was just a cold, and uh, soon found myself back at home again. So this reminded me of a uh, passage by Seneca, which I shall read for you. This is... Uh, more letters to Lucilius, uh, letter, let me see here, 78. Seneca, in this letter, is talking about all the ways one can bear illness, uh, including reminding yourself uh, that pain will either defeat you or you will defeat it, that it is not long-lasting, Uh, that other people have borne all kinds of pain. You can think of the heroes that have been sick and have survived and then remind yourself that what you're going through isn't so bad and things like that. This is the general uh, advice that he is giving throughout um, the essay. But then when we get to paragraph 20, the uh, ill person says, But you object. (laughs) My illness does not allow me to be doing anything. It has withdrawn me from all my duties. It is your body that is hampered by ill health, not your soul as well. It is for this reason that it clogs the feet of the runner and will hinder the handiwork of the cobbler or the artisan. But if your soul be habitually in practice and you will plead and teach and listen and learn, investigate and meditate, what more is necessary? Do you think that you are doing nothing if you possess self-control in your illness? You will be showing that a disease can be overcome, or at any rate, endured. There is, I assure you, a place for virtue even upon a bed of sickness. It is not only the sword and the battle line that prove the soul alert and unconquered by fear. A man can display bravery even when wrapped in his bedclothes. You have something to do. Wrestle bravely with disease." If it shall compel you to to nothing, beguile you to nothing, it is a notable example that you display. Oh, what ample matter there were for renown, if we could have spectators of our sickness. Be your own spectator. Seek your own applause. I know I've read this one on a past episode, but I think of it often when I'm lamenting that I'm laying in a chair, accomplishing nothing that I had planned on doing. I should be at work. I should do this. I should do that. But A, I'm sick and I can't do anything. And B, the right thing to do is to stay home, not get others sick. And I have the duties of a father, a husband, and and uh, and the like. And my wife is sick as well. My son is sick. So my main job right now is here. And I uh, know my students will survive a week without classes. It's not ideal, but it will have to happen. And you will have to live with a short episode this week. But remember, your soul, your mental faculty can still be active. Even when you're in and out of fever dreams, you can think on the mysteries of this world. You can think on the goodness of virtue. You can ensure that you are not being overly burdensome to others and that you are being virtuous at heart. Seize the day, bear with me, (laughs) and carpe diem. Thank you for listening to The Sunday Stoic. If you enjoyed the show, please subscribe, rate, and review The Sunday Stoic on iTunes. 
Become a member of the Sunday Stoic team, earn rewards, and be an integral part of the show by becoming a patron at www.patreon.com slash sundaystoic. Contact the show by emailing sundaystoic at gmail.com or by leaving a voicemail at 501-503-3132. To find out more, visit www.sundaystoicpodcast.com. And as Steve always says, carpe diem. Thank you.